For more on this conversation is Jim Rickards. He is Senior Managing Director at Tangent Capital Partners. And Jim, you look for market reactions today. Obviously, the Dow futures are down, S&P futures are down. Yields on the 10-year Treasury are down too, which is a little crazy. But I will give you, gold is skyrocketing. It's up more than $50 above $1,700. Right. So how, what are we to make of all this when we put it all together? Well, that's, that's right, Becky. And uh, uh, Andrew, just for the record, we own the Chinese. Uh, the we own the Chinese. We own the Chinese. The president can freeze their accounts with one phone call. When you're the debtor to that level, uh, you own the creditor. So the president can freeze their accounts with a phone call, and they have no gold, no uh, significant amount of gold. So for both those reasons, we own the Chinese. And that kind of goes to your point. Becky, about the gold. I mean, gold, I tell investors, gold doesn't ever change value. It's just it's the inverse of the dollar. So what this is really telling us is the dollar is going down. You can't get much out of the dollar index. It's our major trading partners, and all these currencies are joined at the hip. The, the Dixie is just sort of the euro on, you know, uh, on steroids a little bit. So, uh, um, yeah, the, do the dollar may go down kind of nominally. It's volatile. We go back and forth. But all the currencies are going down together against gold, and I think that's the, the significant movement. You know, when you look at the dollar versus the euro, it's probably surprising that the euro hasn't fallen even further when right. you consider their problems behind all of this. Well, I'm, I've been very bullish on the euro, partly because they have 10,000 tons of gold. The euro system as a whole, 16 nations have 10,000 tons. We have 8,000 tons. They actually have more gold than we do. If you combine Europe, the United States, and throw in the IMF for good measure, that's about 70% of all the official gold in the world. It's a lot of gold. At least, who's left out in the cold? Chinese, Russians, Japanese, Brazilians, believe it or not, and the British don't have much gold. So as the currencies, as the, as the paper currency begin to collapse and you need to go to a gold-backed system which I expect in you know, a matter of years um, the people with the gold, so I call it the U.S. the uh, Saudi Arabia of gold. We're a superpower in gold. But that's so not an argument for staying in the euro necessarily. I mean, if the euro collapses, you may have a lot of gold, but you may not want to share it with your neighbors anymore. Well, that, that raises some uh, geopolitical issues. Their gold is in the United States. So one of the uh, scenarios I have is the United States would confiscate the European gold. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's what we've done before. And, uh, we've done this before? Well, yeah. Well, FDR in 1933 confiscated all the gold of all the citizens of the United States. This would just be an extension of that. Again, this all comes out of this uh, International Emergency Economic Powers Act of 1978. The president has dictatorial powers. When I say dictatorial, I don't use that in a pejorative or hy hyperbolic way. I mean, he actually can just give executive orders to preserve the national security of the United States in economic space. So he could convert that gold, give the Europeans a receipt. Um, if I were the Germans, I'd probably, you know, I'd want to move some of the gold back to Berlin. Yeah, uh, why do they keep it here to begin well, with? Right. Uh, well, sometimes you don't ask the question because you don't want the answer. If Germany called up the Federal Reserve Bank in New York and said, you know, we're sending a vessel, we want to ship our gold back, the answer might not be pretty. Would, so it, it, let's say all the gold disappeared in the world. Was that like matter e meeting antimatter? What, what would happen, Jeff? It would, just, it would go to silver, go to some other commodity. Okay, uh, I mean, so you would at least admit that. I, I, it, it it's just such a strange world, thing. Right? Yeah, it's well, just a, it, it's, it's actually better. I mean, I, I agree it has to be a hard asset standard, so common sense says let's, oil? let's pick. Well, uh, by weight, gold is much more valuable than oil. It could be oil. It, could be, any way, it, it could be a lot of things. Any way could be, is there, there any way it could be Chinese ceramic pottery? Because that's what my wife has no, been. No, because known. you consume it. I mean, this actually <laughs> that's good, though, right? I mean, it does go up in right. periods of inflation, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah. Could you suggest <laughs> that if we lose all the gold? That go, let's go to Chinese ceramic This goes to one of the toughest questions out there, which is Warren Buffett's question. He said any number of times, you know, gold is shiny metal. Would you rather have all the gold in the world? or all the farmland in the world. Right. The correct answer is you'd rather have all the gold because then you could issue a currency backed by gold, buy the farmland and have both. You would just have a leverage balance. I just still don't get, I don't even want any gold. I just don't understand why people crave it so much. And there's, there's, there's no inherent value, no intrinsic value uh, for gold. Uh, it's not a producing Pretty, asset. The only it. advantage is that you don't have the problem of printing, of creating right. uh, uh, right. of fiat matter, why, creating yeah. more of it. Gold. And this today, you know, look at that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's it's a kind of a small mark, up $60. Practically, so. practically no one understands gold. Right. Here's the way to understand it. It is, not, it is not an investment. Warren Buffett's right about that. It is not a commodity. Um, it, is, um, uh, it, is, it is money. It's if you want money, you should have gold. Uh, Bernanke said it's not money. Uh, and then the South Koreans went right. out the next day and bought 25 tons. So you can, they, I know, it's, they're it's, arguing. Bernanke says it's not, it's not money. Yeah, he did. He yeah. said that when uh, Ron Paul asked him. Oil's not money either. So. Yeah. You also have another problem with gold, and that is that the, if the, you link an economy to gold, and gold is only growing at 0.5%, then how does a whole economy grow? Right? And that's, a, a, that's a, a structural problem. Uh, as everyone says, well, we'll move to a gold currency. Uh, there's some problems associated with that. There, Granted, you don't have the printing of it the way you do with the currencies, but there are some other problems. Hey, Jim, I, I'm sorry, we're out of time, but no, we'll understood. have you back again very soon. Thank Appreciate you, Appreciate your coming in this morning. Thank you. Again, Jim Rickards.
You right, can. like a gold. You, you have any gold anywhere? I mean, uh, you wearing any? Your key? <laughs> wedding, <laughs> ring, wedding ring in my watch. Gold <laughs> threaded underwear. Melt no, that down. No. All right. I'm not a gold bug. I'm a bond bug. Yeah. Yeah. 30 years in the bond Weird. market. I, 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 to, said it's not I know it sounds like an absurd yeah. question, but I've thought about it. Would the world end if all the gold was... was it's like, I don't know. I said, here. Why it's so important. Coming up, uh, continuing coverage of the U.S. downgrade. What does it mean for the U.S. financial markets? Watch what the gold bugs write in, just for me phrasing that question. They're Would gonna, you like Joe's personal email they, they, They're going to be outside, like with, with uh, torches and pitchforks. <laughs>